What's going on guys, Unknown Player here and today we're we'll looking at what appears to be 10 brand new exotic weapons in Destiny 2 that we saw glimpses of in the trailers for the Destiny 2 gameplay premiere event. So I'm back from LA now and as promised expect a ton of in-depth videos just like this one going forward because there is a lot of detail shown off for Destiny 2 that I want to talk about. So I've gone through the entire hour of the Destiny 2 gameplay premiere through every single trailer and frame there was and found what I believe to be 10 brand new exotic weapons we know of so far coming into Destiny 2. So let's take a look at them. Firstly, we have probably the most notorious exotic in Destiny history, the Jubis Folly, which isn't actually his name by the way. I just call it that because it's old perks we saw. But this gun is probably going to be called something else. So this gun was in the game file since the Taken King expansion a long time ago and then removed and then properly added once again for Rise of Iron and it made a lot of us think it would appear in the expansion seeing as it had all the perks into Destiny 1 but clearly it hasn't and Destiny 2 is going to be where this makes its first appearance. So this gun was shown off in the first gameplay mission going through the tower and here it is an arc rocket launcher and as expected it fires a volley of tiny rockets that go out towards the enemy and also appears to have changed the perk slightly which isn't surprising. You'll notice the perk kill clip is on the side of the left of the screen when it pulls out the weapon at both times and it's got a little electric shock logo so definitely similar with the arc burn. Now as for what kill clip does as a perk is anyone's guess. It sounds something similar to getting kills and reloading the magazine or clip which is similar to its old perk of getting a kill as another round to the volley. So what exactly this gun does, we'll have to wait to find out, but that is exotic weapon number one. So the next exotic is something you've probably seen quite a lot is very familiar, which is the Sweet Business Exotic Auto Rifle. This is the chain gun or mini gun that you've probably seen in quite a lot of gameplay. It was also playable in the build that we played and recorded. So you see this gun quite a lot. But this has got the perk Payday, so a large magazine, increased hip fire and accuracy. And also holding down the trigger, boosts this weapon's range, rate of fire and automatically reloads a portion of ammo into the magazine. So this is that chain gun auto rifle. So next up is a weapon that looks very, very cool and probably my personal favourite out of all the guns that's shown off. This is what in my opinion looks like an exotic sniper rifle and I'm saying this just because it looks too cool and too unique to be a legendary. I just cannot imagine a weapon this cool to be a legendary gun so that is why I'm assuming it to be exotic. And as you can see the design is definitely very unique in this gun so it looks really cool. And as you can see in the Crucible it's interesting because it actually gets a one shot to the body. Now I'm not sure if this enemy was actually weak beforehand or what else is going on here whereas the perk that boosts the damage slightly but he clearly shoots him in like the upper chest and gets a one shot kill so snipers are not supposed to do that in destiny 2 even though they're now power weapons or technically heavy weapons i've talked to the bungee designers and they said snipers are still a one shot to the head not to the body so they should not be one shot into the body but for some reason this gun can and probably adds even more evidence to the fact of this being exotic and you can also see it being used against a cabal boss in possibly a strike or a mission but some kind of pv enemy you can see the weapon also being fired so next up is what appears to be an exotic fusion rifle in this warlock's hands in the front and it's got a very very unique design which makes me think it's exotic but it's also in the same frame as the Jubis Volley so two exotics in the frame kind of makes sense you can tell it's a fusion by the way it charges up so that is also a very very cool looking gun and possibly a solo fusion rifle. So next up is what appears to be an exotic weapon that's very, very unique and also familiar as well at the same time. It seems to be themed off the Galahorn rocket launcher, but except this is a grenade launcher in the same style. You've got the kind of like giant wolf head and the gold wings. It looks like it's kind of themed off the Galahorn a little bit. This is instead a void grenade launcher looking very cool, destroying a bunch of Vex. You kind of put it in half and reload the weapon from the middle. So that is what appears to be a void grenade launcher looking very similar to the old G-Horn. So moving on from that we have an exotic hand cannon being held by this hunter here and it's got a very unique design what appears to be like mice or rats along the barrel. They're strange little animals that kind of run along the barrel of the gun and I can't really tell what the perks are either he just shoots through a bunch of thralls but there you go that is definitely an exotic hand cannon and it's looking very very strange. So the next one is also pretty unique looking and this thing almost looks like a portal gun from the portal games but then when he lands you see it's quite different and he just blows away a bunch of cabal with this kind of void energy burst and to me it honestly reminds me of the thunder gun in the old black ops 1 zombies maps but it literally appears to just blow the enemies away in a gust of wind this void energy so i'm not even sure what this could be like an exotic shotgun maybe or a grenade launch i'm not sure what it'd be categorized as and once again it seems a bit too unique to be a legendary weapon so the next one is an exotic hand cannon which you've already seen and this one is the sun shot which i've shown off quite a lot of my gameplay I played with this gun and essentially an explosive hand cannon that shoots these explosive rounds and also makes the enemies explode into solar energy once you kill them. So it seems like a kind of mini fate bringer, but it's got a very cool design, kind of lights up and glows as you shoot the weapon. So that is an exotic hand cannon that's definitely confirmed to be exotic. 
And on a similar note, there is the SMG, which I also made a whole video showing off gameplay of this gun. I showed some clips of it in both Crucible and PvE, but essentially when you actually take arc damage from any source, your weapon's gonna have increased power, whatever that means, and also it's gonna chain lightning between enemies and also return some ammo to the magazine. So that is what this weapon does, and a pretty cool exotic submachine gun. The next one is an exotic shotgun, and this seems to be doing a massive amount of electricity and arc damage. As you can see when the weapons fire, there's a huge amount of electricity discharge. Seems to pack quite a punch, and yeah, most likely to be an exotic shotgun. Once again, way too unique to be a legendary, but they have a clearly an arc shotgun, which definitely does a lot of damage. So moving on to some bonus weapons, this is a gun that was shown off at the actual event I saw myself and it's kind of on a wall, it was like 3D printed so you can see a physical model of this gun and once again this gun you cannot tell me it's legendary, this is definitely exotic, I'm not even sure what this gun would be or it's a grenade launcher or a shotgun or rifle pulse but it's definitely one of the most unique looking guns and I really want to see this thing in action, that's almost definitely another exotic weapon you can add to the list. And now moving on to two other questionable guns which we did see in the gameplay trailer we have firstly Cade 6's Ace of Spades, which of course is the exotic hand cannon from Destiny 1. And we aren't exactly sure if this will make a return for us personally in Destiny 2, or if it will just be one of the kind of Cade weapons that he has as a signature gun. Obviously it is his gun, so it's kind of like unique to him. So I could see it just being like this gun that's only held by this NPC and not given to us. And probably unlikely they would kind of reskin this weapon for Destiny 2. But it is an exotic gun that was seen. But I personally do think it's just going to be Cade using this as his personal kind of signature weapon. But let me know what you think down below. Do you think we're going to get to use the Ace of Spades once again? Or do you think it's just Cade's gun? And on a similar note, we also saw this guy. I'm not sure who he is, but he was in the European Dead Zone. I guess he's teaching you. And he is holding, of course, the No Lambion. So... I know the lore behind the No Land Beyond is supposed to be an easter egg towards one of the best Russian snipers in history, but this clip is also in the European Dead Zone, perhaps this is the Russian area of the European Dead Zone, and this Russian sniper has kind of like got some connection to his original founder, but there you go, possibly the No Land Beyond might be usable to us, or again it might just be for this NPC who's got kind of like a specialised version, all the bandages wrapped around it, but there you go, that has been a bunch of exotic weapons we can see so far in Destiny 2. Be sure to comment down below your thoughts on all these weapons and your hopes and thoughts about their perks. I'm really hoping exotics are just so, so amazing. I'm hoping they're rare as well, so we have that kind of cool feeling when you get them. But so far, there's a lot of really cool looking guns, especially that kind of thunder gun that blows enemies away in the void kind of mist. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating would be much appreciated, and I'll see you guys in the next one.